Now, who has been facing a tough time after being charged with corruption? Today, Netanyahu held a cabinet meeting and quite on the expected lines did not mention the indictment looming over him. The meeting was uh, Netanyahu's first since being charged with bribery, fraud and breach of trust in a corruption scandal. Typically, talkative ministers of Netanyahu's cabinet remain noticeably silent during the weekly meeting. It won't be wrong to say that the meeting was held in a tense atmosphere. Uh, setting aside any talk, this possible indictment, Netanyahu acted as if nothing had happened. He uh, projected an attitude of business as usual, discussing Iranian, uh, Iranian belliger uh, being belligerent, threats from Gaza and other domestic affairs. Netanyahu's party has long been loyal to its leader, but now faces a tricky situation. Seeds of rebellion have started to crop up. Some of Netanyahu's top rivals within the party have called for an immediate vote to replace him. Benjamin Netanyahu is the first sitting Israeli Prime Minister to be charged with corruption. If convicted, Netanyahu faces a jail term of 10 years, which could prove to be the end of his political career. Well, in news just coming in from, well, news from Japan now, and Pope Francis visited Nagasaki, where he was seen conducting a holy mass at the baseball stadium. This after he landed in Japan yesterday and beginning a four-day tour of the country in the first papal visit to the land in nearly four decades. Earlier this uh, morning, he delivered a speech at the memorial and appealed for abolition of uh, nuclear weapons. In his address, the Pope said that mere possession of such weapons was not only perverse but indefensible. Nagasaki happens to be one of Japan's two cities to have been fatally hit by atomic bombs during World War II in 1945. Thousands witnessed the historic moment as the Pope spoke at Nagasaki's atomic bomb hypocenter park, ground zero of the bomb attack during World War II that killed 27,000 people. The Pope also visited the Martyrs Monument to pay tribute to the martyrs who died in Nagasaki during uh, the two centuries of persecution of Christianity. No olvidemos el amor de su entrega, que no sea una gloriosa reliquia de gestas pasadas, bien guardada y honrada en un museo, sino memoria y fuego vivo del alma de todo apostolado en esta tierra, capaz de renovar y encender siempre. And this is the Pope's second leg of the trip to Asia that first took him to Thailand. He also visited Hiroshima, the first city to be hit by an atomic bomb during World War II. He met the victims of Japan's triple disaster, referring to when a powerful earthquake and subsequent tsunami contributed to the Fukushima power plant disaster in 2011. The Pope will conclude his visit to Japan by officiating the Holy Mass at Tokyo Dome. Uh, stadium on Monday.